The Game Dev Club is really great because it lets you meet new people, uh, particularly from other disciplines. If you're an artist, you can meet coders. If you're a writer, you can meet a sound designer, stuff like that. And you can just come together to create something that's physical, it's finished, and you can show it to other people really easily. My name is Josh, and my major is computer science. Uh, my name is Jack Sides. I'm an animation illustration major specializing in concept art. So my name is Shalba Singh, and I'm a software engineering major at SJSU. My name is Rafael, and I'm a software engineering major. I'm Beatrix Yamdana. I'm a business student, a part-time writer, and a freelance designer based in Seattle, Washington State. Hi, my name is Caitlin Bui, and I'm an animation illustration major with a concentration in 3D modeling. My name is Lily. I was a digital media arts major when I went to SJSU. Hello, my name is Avery Fesagaiga, and I'm an animation illustration major going into my second year at SJSU. Hi, my name is Mevin Koshi Iskaria, and I am a computer science alum from 2019, and now I'm studying my master's in game design. Hi, my name is Wong Koyama. I majored in aerospace engineering at San Jose State. My name is Aiden, and my major is business administration with a concentration in management information systems. I am the vice president, and so I help organize some of the events and brainstorm with the team, as well as assist the president with any of his duties. I'm a member of the club, and I direct games. I used to be an officer in the Game Dev Club until I graduated. I was the VP for one year. So it was mostly facilitating meetings and helping students gain hands-on experience with the tools, such as Unity or Unreal, and all those are game makers as well. I'm currently the president of the Game Dev Club at SGSU, in which I manage all of our officer cabinet, as well as propose events, ideas, and in general help manage the entire club. My position in the club is member. I am a former graphic designer where I used to make graphics for our events and our meetings. I was a former vice president of Game Dev Club, and I mainly greeted new members and stood in for the president when they were unavailable. And I'm a member of the Game Development Club. I was the stream coordinator at the Game Development Club for about a year, which mostly involved streaming games on Twitch. My current position in the club is a community manager. As a gaming devs community manager, I manage all of our social medias, whether this be our Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. I was drawn to the Game Development Club because it was able to combine two of my passions, art and video games. I've always been super inspired by the art that comes from video games, and I also really enjoy the thought and consideration that comes with creating an experience for other people. I have always loved video games and artwork, and I wanted to get into making more games that incorporate my artwork. I wanted to be part of Game Dev because first and foremost, I love video games, which is an obvious answer, but there's a sense of community and creative spirit that comes from being among others who love games and love creating them. I wanted to be among others who enjoy them as much as I do, and it's a lot of fun. What made me want to join this club is it started from the Global Game Jam last year, and I joined the SJSU Game Dev Discord server, and people there were really chill, and I love how welcome they were even though I was a beginner at that time. The first game that I published while in the Game Dev Club is called Black Hole Rescue. It's a physics-based game where you play as a uh, ship and you get close to these uh, debris with people on it to get people off of them. Then you fly off the top of the screen to escape because you're able to get this onto the arcade cabinets for the club. As of right now, I'm leading a development team on a game called Draw with a few other people in the club here. It's a 2D platformer based on the art style of this old stick figure fighting flash games that are popular around the mid-2000s. The game's story explores the journey of grief and acceptance through the stick figure doodles of this high schooler named Nathan, who's dealing with the recent loss of a loved one. And you, the player, get to navigate this world full of doodles, dodging scribble enemies, drawing solutions to puzzles, and meeting interesting characters, each of which represent a different person in Nathan's life and play an important role in his journey through self-sabotage and recovery. I worked on a few games, and uh, some are on itch from past game jams. One is called Salvage Siege. It's available on the Google Play Store if you want to try. Yeah, I made Double Cheeseburger Medium Fries. It's a really simple game where you just work one day as a fast food employee, but it's good, it's polished, and it got pretty popular, and I'm happy with it. This club is amazing for two things. If you want to grow your skills and your career, and if you want to make friends and acquaintances. Most of the friends I've made at SGSU have been here. It's full of amazing people with so much talent, 
And then the learning part. You can grow your career, make connections in the game industry, and just get to know, know people that you would otherwise not be able to get to connect with. I would recommend the game dev club as just you for anybody, regardless if they're actually like looking to develop games or not. I've only been a part of the club since June and the community I've built here is fantastic. Officers and members are super friendly and everybody's willing to help each other out. It's a great way to make new friends while observing all the tricks and tips there are for game development. As for behind the scenes, I think this club has a lot to offer. I don't wanna I don't wanna spill any details. This, de uh, this club definitely helps students get their foot in the door with game gaming development with great workshops leaders and power. The club is excellent for students because the work and culture is harmoniously operating and everyone is learning something new about video games regardless of the experience and familiarity. Every year I'm learning something new about the framework of game dev or programming or arts and that's how things are naturally happening at the club.